Shoutouts, it's Tanya. So I've been sort of stir crazy in New York City and I've been looking for some travel, but I'm also looking to stay safe from COVID. And I figured out I could take a ferry to Highlands, New Jersey, which is just across the bridge from the beach that's attached to Sandy Hook. This hotel I'm at is right across um, the bridge from Highlands, New Jersey on the strip of land that connects to Sandy Hook. And this hotel is under construction. You can see they're renovating. So I was a little worried about noise, but I think it's one of those construction jobs that are only done during the week, which means that I'm not gonna have any noise this weekend. I'm here for the weekend. So that's great. north towards Sandy Hook Beach and I came to the area that I came to the last time I came to Sandy Hook that has a little jut that goes out that you can go to the tip of and see an island called Seal Beach. I, I've come to check out to see if I see any seals but I found this cool driftwood in the process so I got a little sidetracked. It's nice because the tide is much lower than it was the last time I came, so I'm able to walk much further than I did before. I'm back at the hotel. I didn't see any seals on Sandy Hook, but I've changed into my swimsuit and now I'm on the beach. It's 53 degrees right now in November and I bet the water's not going to be any warmer than the air is, but I can't come this far and not at least attempt to go in the water. I saw a lot of jellyfish earlier, so this may be the worst idea ever, but at the very least, I can enjoy the sound of the waves, which is great, and the sunset just behind me. Surprisingly, the water is not that cold. Maybe because it's so cold outside, the water feels warm. You can see if you go along the length of the island, New York is just past. You can just see uh, all the tall buildings of New York, which is really crazy. So I knew. I knew since it was off season here, I wouldn't be able to find a lot of food easily unless I go across the bridge back to the highlands. So I brought a bunch of microwavable food with me to make. 
I also brought a silicone bowl that collapses so I can make food. And for breakfast I'm making some rice with um, cut up wiener. <laughs> Something delicious to get my day started with protein. So it's supposed to rain later today, so I'm gonna take my bike, which apparently has been the victim of high tide, and I'm gonna go across the bridge to New Jersey, and um, there's a park there, I'm gonna see if it's cool, and I'd like to maybe get some seafood while I'm here, some non-microwave food. So, let's do it. So, I took a precarious route across the bridge, and up a big hill to get to Hawthorne Woods Park. They have a whole bunch of trails here. Seems pretty popular. It's kind of early, it's like nine. No, it's almost 10 actually. And so I'm gonna do the battery loop. It's a, a moderate trail, but it's all paved and wide, so it can't be as bad as some of the trails I've done before. And should be pretty. It's a nice day so far. the battery loop that I was gonna take. So of all the trails in this park, this one is a black diamond. It's the hardest, it's primitive. It's the most difficult trail, but so far it's not too difficult compared to some other trails I've been on that are considered moderate. So hopefully it continues to be that way. I made it back to a trail that's actually paved, which is good because those are a little less questionable. This trail isn't marked like most trails are, but at least my map is pretty darn good. So if you want to do a bunch of trails and have a good map, this place has a pretty decent map. So you, that plus the GPS, you shouldn't get too lost. And just like every scenic outdoor activity I've been to lately, this one is pretty full, it's 11.30. treating myself to one nice meal here since I'm having all my other meals in the hotel microwave. Um, it's this big fancy looking seafood restaurant you can see across the bridge and I'm getting broiled scallops with a loaded mashed potato and it's like $30 but it's my only fancy meal so I'm gonna deal with it. I asked them for outdoor seating. They said their outdoor seating in the back is closed because of I guess the season but they said I can sit out front. And I'm not even sitting at a proper table because it's so windy. I was afraid the other tables, all everything would go flying. So I'm just at this like smoker's nook. But I think it's for the best. They start you off with a biscuit and coleslaw. And I love biscuits. And I'm trying to eat it without really touching it. This looks really good, but it also smells really good. It's worth all the rigmarole of dining outside when everyone else is inside and only in the front because the back is closed because it's crazy to dine outside right now, but oh my God, I'm gonna love it. Did I mention I love scallops? And there's a lot of them, which is good. Mm. I like the way they melt in your mouth. before it rains but it is so windy the sand beats against you and it hurts and you can even see I walked out I was there for about five minutes and then when I came back 
my footprints from when I came out were nearly gone because it's just so windy out there. I couldn't get my beach towel to stay flat. So I'm going to do a little bit of yoga, some restorative yoga here by this green nasty pool that I don't think is safe to swim in. But at least it's safe to do yoga by because um, my body's a little sore from all the biking and all the hiking. So it'll be good. Well, this has been such an amazing trip and it's such a crazy way to end with the sun setting and the storm rolling in with the high winds and the sand hitting everywhere so hard and the waves going crazy. It's pretty amazing to watch. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'm planning a lot more socially distant content to come, so if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified when new videos are available. Until next time, bye! It's supposed to rain later. Uh, I always have to double check the door is locked because I am OCD. Ugh. Okay, so back to it. I. It's supposed to rain later, so.